Hi there, my name is Elena Wallace and welcome to the Global Business Outlook 2023. We have some very, very exciting things going on today. And first up, I'm going to be introducing an amazing man from an exceptional company that we're very proud to represent today. It's Mr. Hulash. He's the Managing Director of Vistra Mauritius Limited. So Mr. Hulash, it's great to meet you. Welcome to Dubai. I'm sorry it's not nicer weather for you. Next time we'll, we'll work that out for you. Thank you very much, Elena. So you're welcome. So tell us about yourself, please. Introduce yourself and the background, please. So um, I'm Shahid Ulash, I'm the Managing Director of Vistra in Mauritius. Mm -hmm. uh, Vistra is a global corporate service provider uh, present in, in, in 44 countries, more than 70 offices uh, and, and, and currently more than 4,500 people globally and we're growing very fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Mauritius we're over 400 people mm -hmm. and uh, predominantly doing corporate and fund administration services. Um, so I, I run the business uh, which has a pre predominant focus on the region, which is Mauritius, Asia and Africa. Mm -hmm. Fantastic stuff. And how has Vista positioned itself as a key player in Africa? Well, Vista has been um, at the forefront of cross-border investments for, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, it hasn't been something that started now, it started ages back, mm -hmm. uh, more than 40 years back. And, and for us, uh, we are very much, uh, we see ourselves as enabler of investments, mm -hmm. as, as people who can connect the dots uh, between investors and investments. And, and that was the mission that Vistra has from day one. Mm -hmm. And from our perspective, where Mauritius sits in currently, it's at an ideal location to bring investments and drive quality investments into Africa. Okay. So this is where Vistra has focused itself over the past few years. And, and we must say that there has been a lot of success uh, recently and we are seeing more success coming our way. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, congr congratulations Thanks. on that success and I'm sure, you know, further to come. So how do you think Mauritius can be a key player to driving PE and regulated funds to the market growth in Africa? Well, Mauritius has established itself as a, uh, as a center, a financial services center for, for years now. We've, we've just celebrated 30 years of our existence. And, and to be fair, we've uh, evolved quite significantly over the past uh, 30 years. So from a pure offshore, offshore center, we've moved to more onshore center with more services provided locally and more um, sophisticated services. Where Mauritius is positioning out itself now uh, is basically to drive quality investments into Africa. We've built a number of uh, good stories, uh, good businesses, but more importantly now we believe that we can position ourselves and make a difference for the continent. Every single large continent has been built on the back of a financial center which has driven quality capital into the, the country. Uh, where, 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 where it was needed and I think Mauritius has that role to play for Africa. Okay, fantastic. And Vista operates as an employer of the record EOR in over 85 countries. Now how does this benefit your clients? Well, when we talk about expanding into new markets, there are a number of things that happen. We need to take care of the legal entity, obviously, and we need to employ people and we need to ensure that we are able to, to pay the salaries on time. Mm -hmm. What Vistra does, uh, it removes that pain of managing uh, startup operations mm -hmm. and emerging operations. So we have a number of clients who basically have trusted us to take care of their payroll and also to some extent their, their in-country uh, governance to ensure that they can focus on building their own business. Mm -hmm. So we take care of all the, I would say, the pain points in running a business and they would take care of running their business from a, from a, from a pure business perspective and not a compliance or governance perspective. Okay, great stuff. And you have a proven track record of working with private equity firms for over 25 years. That's incredible. So tell us about your global cross-border um, bond services. Actually, um, if you look at our services, it started as spe country specific services. Mm -hmm. So every uh, market where there was a, the, the, the industry was growing, we would be present and accompany uh, private equity uh, uh, managers, venture capitalists into, into growing their businesses and, and, and running their funds. Uh, where it became more evident with the emergence of global, uh, I would say, type of players, uh, they would need a seamless experience 
and a, and, and a seamless system that will allow them to get reporting across the globe mm -hmm. and in a consistent manner. And this is where we've positioned ourselves in a way to be able to provide that seamless experience globally mm -hmm. and also provide them a quality service at a, at a very, very good pricing. I think we, we, we honored the we, we basically don't pride ourselves to be the cheapest in the market. But what we believe we are, we are probably the best value for money okay. service. Brilliant. So please tell us about your future plans and the road ahead uh, for this year in particular, 2023. What does it hold in store? Well, if we talk about Africa, we see the growth story continuing big time. I bet there will be uh, ups and downs, but the trajectory is, is phenomenal. And we absolutely believe in the growth story in Africa. And seeing how our investors are reacting to the various projects that they are seeing in Africa, we are extremely confident that we will see an exponential growth coming to the market. And us being one of the players that is enabling that gives us tremendous pride and tremendous purpose in ensuring that we drive quality investments to Africa over the next year and the few years to come. Okay, fantastic. And Vista, it has been recognised as the fastest growing fund administrator service provider in Mauritius in 2022. So that's an incredible achievement. Congratulations again. How does that feel personally to you and how does that feel within the company? Well, personally, I guess it's, it's just fantastic to be part of a growing organisation and the recognition always is, is very, uh, we're very thankful for that. Uh, but more than that, it's, it's not a new recognition, a personal recognition, it's a recognition to the team, to the strategy we've taken, to the decisions we've made the past years to be able to come to that point today and achieve what we're achieving. And, and that's also a testament that whatever we want to do, if we believe strong enough and we have the right people around us, we can definitely achieve it. I love that. That is something in life that's one of my philosophies, you know, go ahead with that and I love that, that's really nice. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best of luck with your future endeavours and look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.